Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Alice and I love all things crochet. This is my first ever video, so you'll have to excuse me if I'm a little bit nervous. I've restarted this video about 10 million times. Um, but today I have a Derrimores haul for you guys. Um, I purchased from them yesterday. I did quite a chunky order from them. And I just wanted to show those, uh, what I purchased. Um, in the future, you can expect more things like this from me. Um, I'm ordering yarn all of the time. Um, so I will be doing more hauls as well as crochet with me. I was thinking about doing kind of like weekly style crochet with me where you can follow what I'm working on through the week and we, we can do that together. If you, you're crocheting something, then I can do the same thing. Um, as well as tutorials in the future, I'm hoping to kind of branch out into that and do some more patterns and um, things of that nature so I do hope you stick around and I hope that you enjoy what you see here and if you do please don't forget to um, hit that subscribe button um, and without any further ado let's get into it so um like I said I purchased let me move this bag it's gonna be noisy in a second I purchased quite a substantial haul from Derrimores yesterday I got this huge box from Derrimores um, so I just wanted to share with you what I actually got I have the invoice here with me so I can go through the prices of everything oh wait no they don't have the prices but I can tell you the, the shades and stuff and um, if you like like the look of what you see I can always list um, the link to Derrimores below and um, a lot of it is um, Karen uh, acrylic super soft yarn and um, just because I've been getting into that a lot recently I'm currently making a sweater vest using Caron Simply Soft yarn and um, so I've, I've purchased a lot of that um, as well as some um, cotton yarn which I'm also getting into at the moment so I'll just start with the top of the box and um, so the first thing that I've got is four four um, Derrimore Studio cotton double knit i hope you can see that i can't see myself obviously i'm using my phone at the moment um this is in shade pink horizon and they are 50 gram balls they come in like little donut shapes which are quite nice and um, the only thing i don't like about donuts is they tend to get quite messy quite quick and i love the way um new yarn looks especially on a shelf um so that's the only like thing that i don't don't particularly like and they all like look different sizes but this is a beautiful beautiful pink color and i'm hoping you can see that um in pink horizon derrimores had a 50 percent sale off on all of their own branded um yarn so i picked up some cotton yarn and um, i think it retails for about two pound 90 um i'll have to double check i'll put the price on screen um of, of what i actually paid for it uh, and what it retails for now they do sales all the time so if you don't want to pay full price um i would recommend signing up to the um email newsletter i get emails from them daily with different deals um i so i this was half price but i also had a um discount code for 20 percent off so it was it, i end up getting 70 percent off this yarn which is fantastic um so on top of that i picked up two other colors so i also picked up this beautiful peach color in honeysuckle so that is absolutely gorgeous again i'm hoping that you can see this really well in, in the camera so i picked up four i i try to aim to get 200 grams of any new yarn just because i feel like that's enough to make something substantial um, not a blanket or anything like that but even just making some kind of dint in a project so there are 50 gram balls so i got four of them again um, and that is in honeysuckle was it again yes honeysuckle so that's a beautiful peach color and that goes really well with the um pink horizon that i, that I also purchased i went for these kind of like muted kind of um pink and purple colors and that brings me on to the last one that I got in the cotton yarn. And this is shade, hmm, just says Enchanted. So like I said, these are double knit. Um, if you want to know more, you can use a five millimeter hook, but I always size down with cotton yarn. Um, and you get approximately 115 yards from every skein. So that's quite, I think that's quite good. I'm not really good on 
knowing what good value is out of out of yards but it's 100% cotton and it's made in turkey this is machine washable at 30 degrees it doesn't say anything about tumble drying but i suppose if you wanted to wash it through the washing machine you could go ahead and do that so again i got four of them Oops, let me just get them out so i got four of them again so in total i got 12 so that's quick maths uh 12 different cotton yarns in three different shades so now moving on to the karen yarn that i picked up i've been kind of on a bit of a karen binge um with the their acrylic yarn and um, it started um the other day when i managed to find i'll just show this you this isn't part of the haul but i managed to find this huge bag of karen um yarn in blue lavender i'm already it came with six skeins i'm already using one over there um i found that on amazon for a really good price um and loved the way it feels felt not field loved the way it felt um so picked up some more when i saw that darren Moore's were having 20 percent off um and also i don't know if you know but darren Moore's also do bundle offers so if you purchase 10 skeins or more um you they have a bulk discount so i also got a further 10 percent off on the karen yarn so i'm just gonna go through the box like i said the, there is there is quite a lot that this box is full this is in here but this wasn't part of the haul I got that from Amazon on a, on a previous day. Just what you, is um, not in plastic packaging in this box is what I picked up today. So, um, so yes, let's just get straight into it. So I picked up two skeins of the orchid colour. Um, so this is a beautiful lilac purple colour, which is absolutely stunning. So yeah that's called orchid and it just says color 9717 if anyone's interested and this is a medium four weight yarn um it says to use a five millimeter hook and it is machine washable and dryable and it's a hundred percent acrylic it says no dye lot and i was thinking about this the other day does that mean that everything is like a guarantee that they would look the same shade i'm i'm not sure because i'm looking at these and these look slightly different although it might just be my lighting but yeah so i picked up two of these this beautiful lilac color in the shade orchid the next one that i picked up was this shade in autumn maze which is a really be beautiful a really beautiful um like yellowish beige color is the best way i can describe it i'm really hoping this is showing up and you're seeing this colour again this is a medium four weight yarn five millimeter hook um and you get 170 grams in each of these i'm sorry if i didn't say that but the yes you do get i know they look differently it's always the way that they're spun i find with karen yarns you never get like two skeins that look the same they're always sometimes kind of like haphazardly put together which is the only downfall i think of karen yarns because i think they're so nice um is that sometimes the the way that they are packaged they just don't seem to um take much care like this this is beautifully packaged i like this i mean i know that like, there's a little bit that's hanging out but this is perfectly put together and then sometimes you get like ones that i've had ones in the in the past that like all of this is ripped and that might not be that that might be the seller's uh, problem not the actual manufacturer anyway i'm going on a tangent but yes this is a beautiful um, yellowish beige colour in the shade Autumn Maze. The next shade that I got was um, Off White. This is what I was talking about, about the fact that sometimes you get things that are like, there's like rips all in this. But it's fine. It's just going to sit on the shelf. Um, this is so soft. Like this is beautifully, beautifully soft again a five millimeter hook is what it recommends uh medium four weight yarn these are all medium four weight yarns um and also recommend a five millimeter hook i do use a, what is recommended for these a five millimeter hook um just because especially with um jumper projects i just feel like they they work up nicely i don't need to size down on these but you could size down if you if you prefer or if you like a gapier look just size up maybe half a size um but yeah this is a beautiful off-white color more more creamy color i'm not sure what i'm going to use this for yet i do really like the karen white yarn which is what i have here this is my second scheme because i'm currently using one for a project over there 
I'm sorry if I keep looking to that side. Sometimes I do this thing where I just look what I'm talking about. Anyway, yeah, so I'm currently using this white here. I'll open it so you can see the colour difference. So this is the white and this is the off-white colour. So it is quite a big difference in, in tint. This is has, has a lot more of a yellower tint to it. Um, almost like a very sort of like lemon um color but it's beautiful but i have really been enjoying using the white colors but i so i just got one skein of this um just to see if it would look nice in like a granny square border or a sunburst border if i was making a cardigan or something like that that would be really really nice so i just picked up one of them the next shade that i have is this beautiful brown color in the shade chocolate so this is like a really i would definitely say that it's a chocolate shade absolutely stunning um beautifully packaged as well this this is like my perfect like karen yarn like if it, if every single one came to me looking like this i would be a very very happy girl like this is a no but this is a yes anyway so yeah this i bought this so um i could do some like sunflower sunburst um i was thinking about this for like the middle color however when i'm looking at it now it does look slightly too chocolatey um a lot less of an earthier tone than i was after but it's fine i can find some use for this um sometimes i just like having a selection of colors and then if anything sparks my inspiration then i already have it but yeah this is beautiful uh, and again that's shade chocolate next we have the shade top now this is quite similar to the chocolate that we have just looked at um however this is the more earthy tone which i'm so glad i picked this up now because this will work really well in the center of a sunburst um if you're doing like sunflowers or daisies or anything like that that you need like the center of a flower color this top color in my opinion is a perfect representation of that um yeah so again that's a uh, shade top Oh, I've just noticed on the grey banner, it says to use a 5.5 millimetre hook. And then underneath on the actual boxes, it says a 5 millimetre. So there's two different directions on which hook to use. But I would stick with the 5 millimetre with these um, just because I find that it gives me the best stitch. Um, so, yeah, this is beautiful, super soft, lovely colour. Uh, and that is in the shade Top. Next we have probably the, the single most beautiful colour that I, I've ever ever picked up and held in my hands in my entire life and this is called Victoria Rose. This is stunning. This is the most beautiful dusky pink colour I think I have ever ever seen. It's almost like a combination of these two cotton yarns that I picked up together. This is stunning. This is like I would make everything in this colour. It's just beautiful. And I'm really sad that I only picked up one skein of this. So I'm definitely going to have to order some more. But yes, this is called Victorian Rose. Uh, beautiful. 170 grams, like I said before. 100% um, acrylic. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful yarn. Absolutely stunning. I'm getting pins and needles. Okay. So the next one we have is Plum Wine. This is kind of similar to the Victorian Rose that we just looked at, uh, just slightly darker. However, what I have noticed here, and I'm hoping that you're gonna be able to see this on camera, is there is this slight like red um, thread running through some of the some of the yarn i'm hoping that's just on this outer side and not running all the way through i can't see it on anything else other than those two bits on the outside which is a bit weird i've never had that before but this is a lovely but like pink purple color um also nice for using in cardigans or any kind of sunburst or anything like that beautiful 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 i say beautiful about all yarn because i just love all yarn it's just amazing but yeah that is vic no that's plum wine not victoria rose plum wine the next colour that I have is black. Um, I have never ever bought black yarn before and I was thinking about it the other day and I thought 
you need black yarn for pretty much everything if you're making amigurumi it's good for detailing um if you need it just for some like you know bordering or anything like that so i picked up this um just to have on the back burner if i ever needed it um so yeah this is just a plain black yarn very very black actually i'm hoping it doesn't pick up too much too much like um fiber and felt but this is beautiful next we have the shade bone this is a very nice earthy colored i don't even know how to brown color yeah i'd probably say that this is really really nice this is a nice base color to work from um if you're using it for bordering or if you're making um jumpers or anything like that this would go really really well with like a, a really bright color um just to give that contrast this is stunning um it's just a base color and i think it's really important that we you know i can get really distracted by the bright pretty colors but sometimes you need to offset that and i think this would be really really good so i got one of them next we have the shade pistachio which is a really nice bright green color um this can be used for amigurumi um i think i bought this for a cardigan i can't remember the whole thought process behind buying the green um but i thought it would look nice uh, so yeah, I just picked it up just again like the black just to have it if I needed it um, If I ever needed it for anything, then I knew that I would already have it. So yeah, pistachio Pistachio We are getting down to the bare bones now. We have next the color soft blue Which is a really nice like denim -y color. No a baby blue color. I would say this is really nice, super soft, medium for weight yarn, like I've said before, um, 170 grams. There's not much else, like when you when you buy yarn and it's all the same brand and it's all the same type like I have, it's really hard to kind of think of new things to say about the yarn other than it's beautiful and it feels soft because they're all the same type, they're just in different colors. But this is a really nice soft blue. This would go really well with like, Maybe the black that's a nice contrast that's beautiful and um, so yeah that's called soft blue and i think that's quite a good name for it because it really is just a soft blue and then last but not least we have light country blue so this is just slightly darker than the um soft blue this i would say is more of that denim color that i thought that one would be this is like a really like whitewashed denim color super soft these would actually go really well together as a project and um, just having that slight variation maybe in like a hound's tooth um i'm currently doing a hound's tooth vest um in quite distinctive different colors but i have never seen anyone do one in just a slight variation so that might be a quite quite a nice project to do just um see how that would come out so yeah that is light country blue okay guys so that was everything that i have to show you today i like i said i picked up so much yarn this is not even like all of it but this is just i think this is like the biggest haul that i think i've ever ever done in one go um especially with the karen yarns but like i said i'm just really into them in the moment uh, really into them at the moment so yeah i really hope that you've enjoyed the video if you do please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you would like to see more of this kind of stuff um i'm hoping to release videos weekly um and i will be back next time with another video thanks very much for watching bye bye <laughs>